All right, so let's talk about pseudo elements. Now, these are similar to pseudo classes, but instead of targeting existing elements in a specific state, they act like you've added a whole new element to your HTML without actually doing it. Now, pseudo elements always start with a double colon. So like the pseudo element before. Now you can see it with a single element. So back in the day, pseudo elements use a single colon. So you might see it like this or like this, but don't worry, modern browsers use both for compatibility. So you're calm either way. Now, let me show you why pseudo elements are proper useful. Now imagine you wanted to style just the first line of a paragraph in something else. So let's say you wanted it to be bold and you wanted it to be bigger. Normally you'd wrap that first line in a span and then style it. But here's the problem. How many words fit on that line depends on things like screen size, font size, or even the browser window. Now you can't predict that. So wrapping it manually, it's just long and unreliable. Now let me introduce you to the first line pseudo element. Let's say we wanted to style the first paragraph, as we just said, the first line of each paragraph in something else. So this is when we'd use something like, so let's target the, the paragraph within the article and let's use first line. And let's put similar to what we've done before, font size of 120% and font weight of bold. Okay, so if we save that here, we can see that that first line has changed even on this other paragraph. Now, if we were to inspect and just change the width. So let's say we can see here being the word bean is being styled, but if we make it smaller, we can see that the first line is always being styled. So it's fully responsive. Now this pseudo element does the heavy lifting for you. It targets the first, just the first line of each paragraph, no matter how many words fit in it and updates dynamically as the layout changes. So as you can see, it's almost like there's an invisible span element around that first line and it updates automatically. No matter how the line length changes, it always targets just that first line. Now you can use pseudo elements like first line, before and after to level up your CSS game without cluttering your HTML. 